wow, thank you, you're such a good provider. And, you know, so in the world too, wow, they're so rich and successful and wow, I should emulate them, imitate them and be like them and do what they did and how I wish I could be like them and just really be somebody, be the successful person. It's all about that as defined by the world, the secular definition, the pagan definition. That's what it's all about to them. And these are the rulers that rule over the affairs of the good, decent, upright people, just regular people, God's children that just want to live and let live in peace and harmony with their fellow human beings. It's horrible. It's horrible. So I've got no regard, no respect for anybody, I don't care who they are, that don't support just thwarting the plans of these evil people any way they can. I mean, that bailout of 08 is so outrageous. How dare you? You accept that and you want to move along now, you know, not re revisit that and let's have a reset of reality, economic reality here. Let those people keep those houses that ended up getting stolen from them and let the market fall. Let this market correction happen. That would have been capitalism, market correction, huge market correction. But you're going to say that it's wrong now to just do triage and just say, hey, well, this is about saving people's lives because they are literally dying from oppression, from a lack of money, okay, money, that's right, so let's do a basic universal income, so people stop dying, and people are waking up, a multi-billionaire is coming out and saying they support, these are stupid people, <coughs> they understand it's only fair, if there's plenty for everybody, what are you worried about, why do you want to be such a piss ant, you're denying Jesus, Jesus said I'm the least of these, so you're going to, you, so you're going to deny Jesus a basic universal income even though there's plenty of stuff to go around and it would cause your taxes to go down that, that you pay to the government, your taxes to go down, that you pay to private entities, that's cost of living tax, and it's going to cause that to go down and you're still going to bitch and moan and complain and be such a pissant that you're going to say, no, it's just too liberal. It's, you know, oh, it's socialism. And, and I resent the implication of being called a socialist, at least in any of the forms that they're using, because they're using it as a pejorative term. And I resent that because I am, as a matter of fact and record, a fiscal conservative. I am, as a matter of fact and record, a true capitalist. I am, as a matter of fact and record, a registered Trump Republican. So don't feed me your label, your, me your socialist crap. OK, that's a bunch of bull. Okay, because if socialism is a, a, a euphemism, and a lot of people believe it's a very positive term, a good thing, it's egalitarian, they're misperceived, they don't understand. I mean, the fact is it's never worked. The Robin Hood thing doesn't work. The rich find loopholes, and if you make their lives too miserable, and it's too draconian and authoritarian, they just get the hell out of Dodge. They leave. <coughs> So no form of, of socialism that we're called. Remember, these are just words. We need to sit down and have a face-to-face, heart-to-heart discussion about the exact, precise definition we're using it, okay, in order to really make heads or tails of what we're talking about here, okay? So if you're being intellectually honest, we can have that discussion. Because this stuff is so simple a child can understand. It's all reasonable. It's all logical stuff I'm talking about. So don't tell me I don't know what the hell I'm talking about because I do. I happen to know what the hell I'm talking about. And on a very simple nuts and bolts, let's do the math. 2 plus 2 equals X basis. Okay? So, know that I want the best for you. I want the best for me. I am a selfish man, but I have learned that the greatest form of selfishness is utter and absolute selflessness, and that's giving to you the, the power that I have from knowing the truth. Nobody, I, nobody, there is not an economist on the face of this earth that can refute the things I'm saying. None. Okay, but there's plenty of little piss ants out there that will because they're in the financial services industry. And this guy, how dare I suggest, we're just going to, oh, free lunch, they'll say. You're giving stuff. There's no, oh, oh, what idiots. Oh, oh, oh. You know, and yet 
you know, they think they're so important. What's going to happen? If you fall off the face of the earth tomorrow, mister, that's in the financial services industry, what do you think is going to happen? Is it going to come to a stand? You're so important, but you're going to deny it to me, even though this planet belongs to God. God's your owner. He owns everything. And you're going to say that it's not right that God, if he says that his planet should be shared with everybody, and he says, yes, let's do a universal basic income. Thwart the evildoers and don't let them have their way and keep killing people and keep inducing crime and dubious war and a social welfare industrial complex at a great expense to the public and this debt industrial complex, this national debt. And you sit back there and, and you, 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 you know, on your high horse and you're somebody and you think, oh, you're so smart because these idiots believe in a free lunch and Oh, my gosh, money for not working. So you're the plantation's owner. You're the decider. You're the slave drivers is who you are. You would keep people enslaved, even though you would have an opportunity to set them free. As this gains popularity, people realize, hey, no big deal, just an extension of Social Security. Why? Why make people live in financial fear and insecurity and take away their freedom and enslave them unnecessarily? There's never been a period in history when America didn't have a, work, a willing workforce. Why would you do that? Knowing that the system is going to work fine, better, much better. People going to work with a bounce in their steps, joy in their heart, the song on their lips. Your currency continually to increase in worth, prosperity being created, the rising tide lifting all boats. Why would you do that? People feeling free, the captives being set free. Why, why would you be such a piss ant? Why would you do that? If it, Knowing it's God's will. This is what God says. So forget you know, all your political and economic and social philosophies and credos. and believe, Go out the window, brother. This is a thus saith the Lord. You're going to stand and you're going to tell God that you know better than him? That you're going to dispute the idea that the planet belongs to God, that we're all God's kids, and that God says, yes, I want you to share the inherent wealth of what I've given these children, all that accumulated wealth that our four parents have paid for, building the infrastructure of the industrial age and all the technology therein, mechanization and automation and robotics and all this. It belongs to all of us. Who are you? What kind of a pissant are you? Knowing that the traffic on the freeways, would commuter traffic would dry up, abortions would dry up, and you're going to pose a basic universal income, huh? You're a pissant. Good luck with that. You're an opponent of Martin Luther King Jr. This is one of the things he called for. This war on poverty. He saw this as the answer. You want lower crime? I'll show you how to do that. Absolutely. Absolutely. You want to end the race riots, all race problems, and all this? Yeah, gender inequality. It's going to put all that stuff. is going away. It's disappearing. It's dissipating to the four winds. It's going to get blown. So be a good, decent, upright human being. At least, you know, desire in your heart that God's will be accomplished on earth. Because one way or another, sooner or later, God's will is going to be accomplished on this planet. And there's not a damn thing anybody can do to stop that. The gates of hell can't prevail against that. Not all the weapons of, of, of darkness can stand against him, okay? Not, no. It's never going to happen. The good guy is going to win this thing, okay? Make no bones about it. Otherwise, it'd be an unreadable book, an unwatchable movie. So have, you know, have no illusions about this thing. The good guys are going to win. Okay, that day is coming when the Lord's will is accomplished and achieved and realized and actualized on planet Earth. And it's getting nearer and nearer and nearer. But it's always dark up before the dawn. And people are going to start figuring it out, man. Big changes, big changes got to come economically, politically, and socially speaking. We got to wake the hell up, folks. So once you're awakened up, then you wake others up. You educate them, you inform them, you enlighten them, you share the knowledge and wisdom you have, and let's work together as one unit, unified, Republicans and Democrats, men and women, liberals and conservatives 
blacks, whites, browns, all of us come together against these evil monsters that are running roughshod over us, have been for a long time, and don't give a crap about us. They want us dead to save the planet. That's the pretense, the pretext. They're haters of humanity.